Welcome back to, let's call it part two. So the story and the writing and the voice acting seems to be superb. Um, the only thing we have to be careful about is the, the combat is like not super clunky, but kind of clunky. What me, like not what, it's not pissing me off, but what I'm a little bit sad about is that the, um, the melee combat, like when you swing your shovel, like you stand in place and then you swing your shovel and that's kind of sad. Would it be good if you could have moved or... Uh, I mean, there is not even... I mean... not There's no dodge button, you know, like you can't dodge. And the ammo... I mean, I can understand that these little spider creatures... That I hit them with my shovel and shit. <laughs> but it's kind of sad that you need so many bullets like for one of the bigger creatures I mean I, I don't even try and fight I don't even want to try and fight these dog creatures right so it looks like when we save in game it brings you back to the telephone post right so we just go there now back to the expedition place and see what's going on because the detective stuff is pretty cool can't deny that. But we have to see, I mean, even though the world is pretty big, it looks very lifeless. Like, there's not much happening, like, no small talk, shit like that. But what, what I also heard was pretty cool, like, when you go here, right, um, and you go, no, you press T, right, so you have combat, alright? If you are crouched, hostiles are less likely to detect you. Enemies may harm your sanity as well as health. The blue one is the sanity, by the way, where you use your mind eye thing. And when it goes down, you have these nasty illusions and shit. Um, some enemies have unique abilities that may come as an unpleasant surprise, but most have weak points too. Yes, what I found out is that these creatures have a weak point that's like shovel to the f shovel to the face. Um, ammo and supplies are scarce. Yeah, I saw that. You don't need a mod for that, like I followed. <laughs> Scavenging, crafting, quest rewards are the only source of supplies. Yes, and guns are not going to reload themselves. Hmm. But what I was interesting that there is fucking diving. Ooh, that's creepy. Their harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Okay, so stuns. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. And if damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. That sounds interesting. This sounds like you can't really fight back. So, yeah, let's see. Damn newcomers! Fucking cultists. Guess I don't need the key. Fuck. Something happened here. Divers uh, with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting and d disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizure and seizures. Confusion or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbers can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. Yeah, I saw, um, I binge watched the last three days something uh, called, uh, what's it called, The Terror. Pretty cool, it's an anthology series um, that you can watch on several <coughs> sources. And they have something coming out on season two that's like something with a Japanese shape shifting ghost or something that's pretty cool. But The Terror is pretty cool also like like there was a little bit of diving there someone smashed it beyond repair uh -oh. is that thunder or was there somebody upstairs doing some are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? Loot.
Oh. Photo? So there were two two invisible walls. That doesn't sound good. Save. Time to save. I'm a very scary person, so this is very scary to me. The following must be the Louvre Unreadable, Grimhaven Bay, no later than Friday, MK5, Diving Suits, 6, Air Tanks and Pumps, 4, Canned Foods, 18 crates, Personal Belonging, 6 crates, with NAM, Unreadable, Research Equipment, 7 crates, <sighs> Air Pipes, 24, Phone Station and Wires, 1 Power Regenerator, 1 responsible for the lure, Unreadable. Som uh, guys, sometimes I'm yawning. But that doesn't mean I'm bored, it's just I'm yawning. That's just what I do for a living. <laughs> and new mind puddles. Oh, Guess this helmet's beyond repair. <sighs> Guess this helmet's beyond repair. Why did I come down here just for a shell gazing or what? Also, I, I heard earlier in a stream. What the fuck? Where is the light coming from on the ground? Investigate above. Uh, yeah, we found dangers of diving. Um, okay. Cargo manifest, yeah. Wanted to see something about ammo though. According to your data, the places with uh, paranormal activity have a strong previously unidentified influence on the human mind. We have prepared a list of solutions including meditative practices and the supply of sedatives. 
to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets and religious symbols which are of no use and applying the scientifically valid method of protection instead. Um, I think... Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Bought a sample of weird substance floating in the ocean from J. Harvey. He claims he found it amongst numerous dead and strangely formed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. <coughs> Uh, several locals mention a rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern, is it Lieutenant Private or what? L.P. Stern got severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Samples taken for analysis. Ah. Was that the thing I saw in the sky? Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its ranks, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now Professor Doe, I guess that's how you call it, will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood and in doing so shed light on what may yet to come. fish people <coughs> I guess they came in went there burn it all 
Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Wait, that's all? Nothing up here? I think they came in here, alright? We don't have time to pick it! Stand back! Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Isn't Dagon like something something god of the sea or something? Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. It's cool that his mouth moves even though he's not in a conversation, that's pretty cool. Let's see what the Mind Palace has to say. Any lore, documents, how to protect, yeah we read that, we read that. Casebook. Mm -hmm. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Gimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Oh. The I think that's that's the one, right? We quickly see something. Is that the Oakman Chronicle? No, that's the Yun Library. Is it that? Yep. Okay, let's 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 uh, go there. It's right around the corner, kinda. Nice weather, as always. Also, I think we should say. As stupid as it may sound, but the detective, like this, like puzzling, piecing together the the order of things that happen, I think it's kind of satisfying. Very good. The old papers are by the door. Take them well, look and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. 
Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Doesn't yes, she sure. look like the fortune teller? I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the U.S. Oh, he's a diver? And, well, after the war... And there you see Cyclops, Boston. right? I've been a private eye ever That's since. That's the one, the little boat oh, where you uh, a brave sailor. sails around and it's called well, Cyclops I too. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I <laughs> can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview. Mr. Reed. My pleasure. Uh, she sounds maybe like I'll a do YouTuber. Something Can't interesting give them all the, the episodes again. at once. You never Jesus. know. See you later. We will often need to look for useful information within various city archives. Archives contain typ topical information, for example, City Hall holds general data about citizens and organizations while info about specific categories of people like criminals or patients can be found in police or hospital records. In the case book, evidence may have a hint icon indicating you need to do some archive research. Ooh. In the archive interface, select a piece of evidence you wish to investigate and choose three criteria to search for relevant information. A search conducted with the correct evidence and criteria will result in new information being added to the case book. Ah, very good, very good. So let's see. Yep. Archives. Okay, let's do that in a second. My lady, do you have loot? 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 Maybe upstairs. Yo, the fucking KKK is here! You see that shit? Jesus. Super interesting. Oh, there's even more of shit. All the press and stuff. Loot.
Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, what we do want? Uh, Grimhaven Bay. Um. Current events. Right, I mean... <coughs> A cargo manifest, pillage headquarters, burned newspapers, and lost expedition. So I guess it's current events, Grimhaven Bay. Maybe after the flood? Nothing? Like, n none of these three? Stu stupid? Must be Grimhaven Bay. Yeah, right. Posting or ads. So we have Grimhaven Bay, fucking advertisements. I guess after the flood? No? 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 No. So it's about people my baby just? No. 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 So that's weird. It's I think it's definitely advertisements on Grimhaven Bay. It's not Salvation Harbor, is it? It's so weird. Right? Grimhaven Bay, advertisement. Come, come in it. Oh shit, you have to make it in order. The 30 ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport as well as the aiding of under underwater adventures and exploration for the price of 70 rifle bullets or the equivalent thereof per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders for contracting details. He can be found at Pier 3, Open Port, Remember Bay. I think that's what we wanted, right? Pier 3, Grimhaven Bay. It's 
so weird that you can't like fast travel. At least I don't know of it. go to the right and then left. Or we can just stop here. What are you doing? Caught, you know, more NPCs would have need like voices. Maybe that's bug. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nasty. Empty. Anyway, I heard that the loot containers they respawn. But I'm not just not completely sure how. Wait, can I go and then left? I did some mis mistakes with the wall building, right? Like a <laughs> little, little buggy. <coughs> like sometimes you can see through the wall. Sometimes, not all the time. <coughs> and that was an auto save. Fresh fish, fresh fish. 
Just caught, mister. Probably, can you up there? Oh, you! You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Sure. You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. First task is to find the ship's log for the Pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure, sure. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, you don't need to know. In my line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the need for privacy. I understand. What can you tell me about the Pride? I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the Pride's ship log if it's still there. See you later. Hey, that's where I fell asleep last time. Um... Barge named the Pride. Da, 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 da. Sell that shell. Oh, yeah, I can place that. Uh, southern shells. Uh, these shells. Southern. Uh, Moorland Road. That's here near the intersection of Old Colony Street. That is here. So either it's there or there. Um, he says. So, Moreland Road, near the intersection. Oh, that means here? Because we have one here. And we have one here. But I think they mean here, right? Old Colony Street. More Old Church, Old Colony. Wait a second, Moreland. No, can't be, must be here. Must be there, yeah. Wait, is my mark gone? Is that a, ma a bug that all my markers are gone from before I, when I reloaded the game, all the markers are gone? Um, that's not good, is it? Oh no, probably a bug needs to be fixed. Stand up to them. Please help me. What? What creatures? What are you talking about? Wild beasts. 
They came to feast on the blood. They eaten the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? I, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I read that earlier. Basically, if you haven't encountered like creatures yet in the game, the main quest would probably have provided you with these creatures now. I want to try out the trap though. Oh, I think that's picking it up again, right? Bitch. the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then, well, then the wild beasts came to feast. Miss Sanders, what kind of man is he? A uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. Check it anyway. Every chamber uh, still stinks of burnt powder. Shot dead, point blank. sure didn't leave behind much. Okay, there's the, the tower, but I don't think you can go there, can you? 
No, it's probably somewhere here. Or even further. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Oh yeah, you lose the sanity when you see such creepy shit all the time. That's probably where the, the mind thing comes into play sometime when you see so much massacre. Right? They were in high spirits. And plenty of them were drinking. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take on board my vessel Titania or Titania. Any persons designated by Robert Throckmorton and their cargo detailed in the attached manifest as well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including depth measurements as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Um, before mentioned services will take place in confidential locations in Cod Bay. Afterwards, the Titania will provide transport for all passengers to the Oakmont port. Compensation will be 70 bullets. Barnstable. That's Cape Cod, right? Orleans National something with the Cape. And where is our place? Oh, probably not here. There even is evidence. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. They were in high spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. Ah, the monster. 
monster sure didn't leave behind much. Oh. Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! To the mare with you! Ah, die! Die! Looks like they went mad. <laughs> no more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed to the mayor with you. Ugh. Die. Die. Ugh. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. The Harbour Master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimhaven Bay was a man boldly wounded in the shoulder. Uh, probably in the hospital, right? Captain Sanders is the wounded man who is now seeking medical aid. And these are probably safe points. That is that the curves these days. <laughs> I mean, I see no no reason and why I should mark the places again, right? Because they need to fetch it. So, yeah. The door won't budge. It's closed, okay. Don't tell me. Are they fast from? Oh, they are fast travel. Nice. Fuck. I knew these were fast travel. At least I thought so. So that's relief. Kind of. Oh 
Get the truck out of here. Oh, great. And you are definitely not a cultist, my man. Jeez. Oh, find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. That's a brain and a jaw. You are not a cultist at all, my dude, right? Remember that. On your knees. Beware! He's cursed! Yeah, I am. At the hospital, let's remove the thing. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant get a visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the Flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Sure, why not? Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr... Uh, Reed. Uh, Reed. Charles, Charles Reed. Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Um, ouch. Oh, jeez. Oh, is the, does the game want to tell me that if your sanity, insanity is very low, like your sanity, that you basically see, see chests that you would normally not see? Jesus. What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me. And then he gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. 
Ah, I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Cool, okay. Bye. Are invisible? Okay. to do it in order. No. I think it's definitely Grimhaven Bay. Peter Crowley, male, 29, Oak Montreal, multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to chest and face as a result of explosion, several in surgeries, wound treatment, facial, facial surgery, prognosis, good, bed rest, commanded, Joseph Willow M. Yeah, there he is. Wrong name, like he changed his name. Deep cut wound to the left shoulder, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound stitched, fractured, huh? No trace of infection, huh? good bed rest recommended. So I guess he is still here. Yeah.
just check upstairs so I don't miss loot. Why is there floating? Must be bugs. But hey, the game hasn't been out for that long, has it? is driving me insane yeesh what happened to your shoulder uh, some psycho in a bar brawl gun came out he clipped me good in the shoulder something I can help you with I'm just looking for someone uh, Captain Sanders Captain Sanders never heard of him I'm Joseph Willow y you should probably look somewhere else That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I think it would be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. What I ordered fuck? a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. What were you looking for in the water? The cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists Stone? found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. 
You know where I can get a good diving suit. My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon. to go there, I should dive there, what the fuck? Let me rest. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> The ward must be here somewhere, I guess. I don't think... yeah, it's marked as a place, but it must be here. This is where I ran, right? Yeah. the other dude though I warned you. <clears throat> I remember one more dude though. Where is he? Oh. 
Aha. Crew complaining of noises and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. March 22. Reach the crew reporting hallucinations. March 23. Disturbed rub. <coughs> Oops, not disturbed. Distributed rum. Hopefully it will distract them. March 23 again. Found an air pocket in the caverns near the Devil's Teeth. Close to the city. Scientists discovered walls. Ancient walls. Ask for crates with tools. March 24. Sent Tate and Myers down to investigate. After surfacing, deadline passed. March 24. Tate and Myers return but only out of Fort Morton. Who is now completely unhinged, has madness, disturbing, unsettling. March 24, the crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. Oh. Road. Ah, yeah. Um, the factor. On C. Smith Avenue, so it's here between Deep Shore and Levy Coven something. Must be here or something. Sounds good, but I think this is like really the way to go for quests and stuff.
wrong, wrong place. Hey, handsome. Want to have some fun? No, Jesus Christ, look at your face. the water though I bet he can't swim. There is a reason why you need the boat. And I think the place is somewhere behind me. warehouses so what these fucking stones are I have no idea that looks like out of place That's the fucking weak point. Uh, okay, now I know. Now I know. Fuck me. Little one's weak point is just shovel to the face. I do think I can craft a um, how would metal scrap and coil springs. Why not? They could be really useful, maybe against the other creatures. Didn't try them out yet. <sighs>
Whoa! That shit kills them instantly? Jesus! That's nice. Holy shit, I need to craft them more. Does the game want from me? Something. I mean, it says C. Like, what the fuck do you want from a game? I just know that there is a second C, but I have no fucking idea. So, this isn't the place? There's that symbol again, but I'm not sure what it means. grid sign I mean it could be that I mean there is something hidden but I have no fucking clue how to open it to be honest looks like cross hatch I mean eh. that I need to take the boat maybe That 
that's not the place bro. That's the infested area. That's not the place where I need to go though. Just creepy. <laughs> There more? Jeez, they are creeping me out. Twenty is the max. Okay. I need alcohol, though. As weird as it sounds. That doesn't sound good. Uh, looks good, I mean.
place could be here though. And this can't be a dead end. But interesting what they did with the cars and transformed them into balloons. So that doesn't open. And I don't believe that I was only here because of the chest. Apparently I was. And the boat is too far away, I can't get back to the boat, fuck. Swimming is, he, he can swim, but swimming for too long is not a good idea.
What's the problem? I'm not that good like with English street roads and just like it's in between and cornering this and that. It's like confusing for me. Oh, he cannot decide where to go. <laughs> Oh, it's marked now, okay. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. I don't think I want to go swim. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. doesn't it? Wow, just put it in your pocket. Harpoon, flare gun, diving suit, evidence. Stop right there. <coughs> of course, now you wish you had the, um, the bullet upgrade thing. Right? Is it this one? Oh yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah, it could be very helpful. But I think the double quest reward, huh? Oh. 
Oh god. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Bolt of view. Like with all this shit going on, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna die for like several groups of people went nuts. No problem. <laughs> and he's just carrying a fucking diving suit in his pocket. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just caught, mister. All that without healing. This place doesn't look safe at all. Let's save. And w let's do that in the next part. I know, I know, but I'm hungry, so I need to eat something now and then tomorrow do the second thing. And this doesn't look ominous at all. Okay, that's where it is. Oh boy. Oh god. Diving to the deep. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it's interesting so far. It's interesting for me. And now that I know that these fucking creatures die to the fucking traps instantly, or I shoot them into the open heart in their head... Uh, yeah. Makes it... Uh, I feel a little bit better. Now I just need to know the secret of the weakness of the weird-ass dogs that are so hard to kill. Anyway, thanks for watching and I see you later. Bye!